What's going on guys? Xbox Cut. Welcome back to another shopping video. So recently me and my girlfriend just decided to go on a little vacation and uh, you know, with a vacation, you know, comes a mindset of just trying to find manga wherever you're not at. So I just thought I'd look around at Barnes and Noble, comic shops, and Facebook Marketplace. Well, spoiler alert, we didn't find any comic shops that I can go to. We only found one good Barnes and Noble that I found some manga at, and um, I filmed there. And I want to show you guys what I saw and what I found. So without further ado, guys, let's get right into it. Quick summer before we start this video is uh like I did last my last shopping video I did a little voiceover I'd be doing the same thing but since it's one store I'm gonna be doing it a lot slower and talking about the series that are on the uh, shelves not in depth but I'm gonna be seeing them so you can see them more clearly let's get into it all right guys so we got Akira the paperbacks the AOT colossal editions the Battle Angel Alita hardcovers down here we got some stuff that i have absolutely no idea what it is i see ajin right there volume one it's pretty cool to see on the wild uh can we go kill alice in borderland apollo's song that one looks cool by azama tezuka uh, magus bride don't know anything about it alice in borderland volume two <laughs> asadora assassination classroom uh assassin's creed attack on titan omnibus Attack on Titan singles. And alright guys, up here we got the Deluxe Edition for Berserk, Blade of the Immortal, and Helsing. Um, we got some spin-off stories from Attack on Titan, <coughs> some BL manga, uh, Battle Angel Elite of the Paperbacks, some B-Stars. Berserk in the Paperbacks, you gotta love it. Berserk of Gluttony, I have no idea what that is. Um, Black Butler and Black Clover. Um, something I definitely want to get into eventually. <laughs> and down here we got the Blood of the Immortal Omnibuses. Uh, Blood on the Tracks, crazy series. Blue Exorcist, don't know anything about it. Uh, Blue Flag, I've heard of that one for sure. Um, Blue Period, I mentioned that in my uh, Right Stuff video. And over here we got the One Piece Color Walk, some Sailor Moon, the basically the art book section. We got Burn the Witch by Tai Kubo, Call of the Night, Bride Story, The Breaker, some cool series on there. Uh, Case Closed, that's a cool one to see out in the wild. Uh, Chainsaw Man, you you love to see it. And then down here we have some Classroom of the Elite manga. I know Promji really likes Classroom of the Elite, uh, light novel especially. And then last but not least on the shelf, we got Finally Die Dark. And then moving on to the next shelf, we got Dead Dead Demons, Dead 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 Destruction, the Deadpool manga, the Death Note short stories. And then we're gonna start off with that whole Demon Slayer section. You know they gotta have one since it's probably one of the most popular manga out right now. So I was very, very, very tempted to pick up this Devilman hardcover that you guys saw right there. I didn't though, I kind of passed up on it. Uh, don't tell me to miss Nagatoro, Dragon Ball, Doro Hidoro, Dragon Ball Super, um, The Drifting Classroom, Dr. Stone, The Adventures of Dai. I was definitely thinking about getting into Adventures of Dai, but I didn't, didn't end up doing it. Moving on to the next shelf, we got more Dr. Stone. I love the spines on those. Eden Zero, that looks pretty cool, but I'm not a fan of Fairy Tale. Oh, speaking of fairy tale. Alright, and here we're gonna have that whole fire force wall. Don't know much about it. 
um we got food wars that's a cool cool series fly me to the moon that's another series that kind of looked cool the spines did uh flowers of evil i heard nothing but good things fist of the north star looks dope um fruits basket that's super cool they got some omnibuses for those some you know people don't have a hard time tracking on those singles we got gigant that's the series that i wanted to get into because of hiroyo oku uh from the alchemist we got galipnir goblin slayer what else we got we got haiku gyo haiku is the one that i want to definitely get into because uh sports manga is cool i just didn't like uh ping pong got some good night pun pun volumes happiness is a cool one i've never really read it though i i think vampire stories are kind of cool the hellbound that netflix series never seen it or read it and then finally we got the zag section this is going to be the hell's paradise <laughs> and then down here we got hunter hunter i was collecting it but um ended up selling off my one through ten set If you guys can't see, that's going to be Inuyasha, Vizbig. And then finally, we're getting down to that whole JoJo's Bizarre Adventure section. Um, I don't know. I'm selling off my parts 1 and 2 and my part 3 paperbacks. If anyone's interested, just let me know. We got Jujutsu Kaisen. Ah, I'm not sure if I want to continue reading that one or watch the anime because I really enjoyed the movie. That Kaiju number 8 volume 3 looks fantastic. That, that volume alone, alone that makes me want to pick up the series. Uh, down here some stuff comey communicate comey can communicate rather so i wanted to pick up some made in abyss but they didn't have volume one i would have if they did because i didn't have nothing but good things about it um moving on it's just gonna be like manga theater mao and stuff like that mao was one of the series that my girlfriend pointed out to me and uh i was actually thinking about picking up one through six but uh, i ended i ended up didn't pull the trigger mobile suit gundam thunderbolt two five six seven i definitely wanted to scoop that up if they had volume one they didn't mashal uh not my thing mob psycho love it monster by now kurosawa um my hero academia my, my my best friend tells me nothing but good things about this series uh, he's read it all the way up to current uh, the current chapter and he says uh, nothing but good things about it and then we got that naruto section with that nana uh, nana is like a shoujo beat manga then we got number five by time Matsumoto. Origami, uh, that's a series that kind of blew a uh, manga hero. I'm gonna check that one out. One Punch Man, One Piece. I love the One Piece section to see what kind of singles they got. Got this series called Orient, Orochi by Kazuo Omez. It's something that sounds definitely interesting to me because I love Kazuo Omez and his works. Uh, down here we got the Persona 5 manga. Don't know much about Persona in general. But Parasite, I love Parasite. And up here, we got Pokemon Adventures. Mentioned it on the Right Stuff birthday sale that was recently. Uh, the Promised Neverland. Some Pokemon one-shots. More Promised Neverland. The Quintessential Quintuplets. Don't know much about that one. I think it's like a rom-com. Uh, Render Girlfriend, one of the worst mangas I've ever read. Uh, Record of Ragnarok, love that anime. Yeah, Red and Girlfriend. I can't believe they did a spin-off series for Red and Girlfriend. I cannot believe that. And then my boy, Sakamoto Days. Haven't read the manga, but I hear nothing but fantastic things about Sakamoto Days. Absolutely want to get into it.
So that solo leveling manhwa is something I definitely want to get into since the box set is coming out for Barnes & Noble. A 1 through 4, definitely something that interests me. Uh, down here, Spy Family. I don't know what it is about Spy Family. I just don't care to get into it. I just don't know. Oh, here we got Sage of the Weakest Crest, Sweat and Soap. Um, the time I was reincarnated into Slime. Finally down here, we got some Junjito, and to finish it off, we got a massive section of Vinland Saga. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching that haul. I know it was only one store, um, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys what I got because I definitely got some bangers. And uh, I can't wait to show you. So the first manga that I picked up was Gantz Omnibus 9. I definitely needed this to finish out my Gantz collection to current. Um, Gantz, you guys know I love it. For the second pickup, it's gonna be Mob Psycho five and six because this completes season one of mob psycho i have volumes one through four right here but i needed five and six to complete season one and then one of the last pickups i picked up in barnes and noble was going to be parasite volume four why did i pick up so many random volumes in my collection is because i needed them to fill out a lot of spaces because i only have parasite volumes one through three now i have four i had volumes one through four of mob psycho now i have one through six and all right guys for a little bonus. I didn't say I didn't get anything from Facebook Marketplace, but we got something. We found one person selling some manga, and I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's some out of print manga right away. And it's gonna be Basilisk, volumes two through five, and Siren, volume one. So we'll talk about Siren first. Uh, what is Siren? It's a 16 volume series that was cut because it wasn't as popular as One Piece, Naruto, or Bleach. Um, people say it is such an underrated manga and I just found volume one I know what the rest is like impossible to find but uh, volume one is definitely cool to have in my collection it's a very good condition as well I mean no bends no yellow um there was a bookmark in here but this is probably like the fourth printing so it was probably years and years and years ago and then finally we got basilisk volumes two through five um this is a five volume series I'm missing volume one it's on order but um I don't know anything about it other than it's like a ninja kind of series manga hero is the one who put me on this so this is definitely a series i definitely want to check out because y'all know me i love short series and uh this is such an easy entry point and i love how thick the volumes are um the art's actually really cool as well and all right guys for an extra little bonus um i did end up picking un manga stuff uh, i didn't pick up video games and stuff like that but i ended up picking up a warhammer 40k recruit set uh just because i want to paint my own models and stuff like that and play the game my girlfriend wants to paint alongside with me um well rather i'd rather paint alongside her but just last night me and her finished our very first models uh hers is the pinkish one and mine is the blue one i'll put a picture up on screen so it looks a little bit clearer yeah i'm super excited to get into warhammer 40k um it's such a cool hobby and i haven't played the game yet but if you guys do play warhammer 40k um let me know and another thing that i picked up was the wing gundam zero um I haven't built this one yet, but this would look fantastic on my manga shelf. And I cannot wait to build this one. All right, guys, that has been my shopping video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I threw some extra stuff in there that isn't manga. And uh, I threw some stuff that I didn't get from Barnes & Noble in there. Um, well, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been Xbox Gut. Discord is going to be down in the comment section. Later, guys.